Hey everybody, I'm Zach. And I'm Jesse. You're watching Disruptive Investing. And uh, this week I thought we'd take you a little, first of all, a little behind the scenes here. It's sometimes hard when writing these stories every week for Tesla Time News uh, to decide where to put them. Do we put them in the main Tesla Time News show? Are they Patreon bonus stories? Are they Investor Club bonus stories? Would this make a good Disruptive Investing Channel story? We're putting this next story here on disruptive investing because it's massively disruptive. It's just that most people won't get it. We're talking about Tesla Electric UK, which was approved in 2020 by UK regulators. Tesla is looking to fill a new position called head of operations, Tesla Electric Retail Energy. And here's the description. As part of Tesla's mission to accelerate the transition to sustainable energy, we've launched Tesla Electric. Tesla Electric is Tesla's retail electricity offering currently available to Tesla product owners in select markets globally, such as Texas. We believe strongly that simplifying and improving the customer experience around retail electricity and virtual power plants is necessary to drive significant adoption amongst customers. Delivering a seamless, simple customer experience will ensure that small scale residential flexibility can be fully utilized to support the transition of the entire electricity grid to one. 100% renewables. It's seemingly not an exciting story. There's there's no video. <laughs> Nothing has really happened yet, but I can promise you there will be more coming. It's exciting for those of us who get it. So Tesla is cranking so amazingly fast. If you understand how hard it is to move in these industries, big auto, big energy, power utilities, insurance, there is so much regulation, so many players throwing so much money at politicians and organizations trying to stop you. But Tesla keeps cranking. Doesn't seem like such a big deal, does it? I mean, this is just a job description for what? Retail energy? What is retail energy? So Tesla is moving into the UK just like they're moving into Texas, like they said, California, Puerto Rico. Solar, power walls, and now VPPs are coming. Can you hear the disruption? If you don't understand microgrids and the coming demand for energy and virtual power plants, then this doesn't seem like anything. But Elon has said, and I'll say it, Tesla energy could very well be worth more than the automotive side of the Tesla business, and this is going to be huge. Now, I don't need to tell you that the demand for energy continues to increase, and it's increasing at an exponential rate. As Elon talked about recently on Twitter Spaces when he introduced XAI, his newest company, humans are using more and more energy per person than ever before. I mean, think about it. Before the agricultural revolution, how much energy did a human use? A campfire, running, hunting. It might seem like a lot of energy to you, especially if you're sitting on the couch right now, but from an energy per person perspective, it was almost nothing. What happened after the Industrial Revolution? Water-powered factories, electrical grids, power plants sprung up, big factory machines. Humans started using way more energy than we had ever before. Now you got airplanes, cars, computer servers, and we're using exponentially more power per person than could have been imagined a couple hundred years ago. And as we speak, AI hardware farms are being built that require even more energy. As Elon talked about during the spaces, in a couple years, we're going to have an electrical supply problem trying to keep up. And you thought that it was EVs that were going to be energy hogs. Nope. It's the AI. It's the robots. But you said this story was about Tesla Electric UK. Yeah, because it gives us this glimpse into what Tesla's plan is. Tesla has to hire people to run different departments, right? And that gives us clues as to what's going on, where Tesla is going. Tesla is going to continue to expand Tesla Energy and VPPs running their auto bidder AI software, and it's going to become an increasingly bigger part of their company. No analyst ever asked them about it on their earnings calls. And by the way, we're going to cover Tesla's Q2 2023 earnings call on in-depth this week. So over on the Now You Know channel, make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss our recap. That's where we tell you what really happened and what important takeaways there were. But there is a revolution going on in the power utility world right now. But most of us have no idea that it is going on because electrons all look alike. We have four Tesla power walls and we belong to a VPP run by our local utility, National Grid. National Grid pays us to control our power walls during the cold winter months and the hot summer months. Yeah, we get paid hundreds of dollars, sometimes thousands, to allow the utility to redirect power from our four battery packs onto the grid to help power our neighbor's houses when there is peak demand. And it's not like we notice anything. We don't lose power or have to go without anything. But instead of having to fire up an expensive peaker gas plant for an hour, the utility ends up saving money by paying us Tesla Powerwall owners a few extra bucks. It's a win-win. And where did our Powerwalls get the power? Well, we have solar on the roof 
and we leased 36 more panels from Community Solar. So somewhere out in a field somewhere. Back to Tesla Electric UK. As Tesla is doing in Texas and California as we speak, they will soon bring VPPs to the UK market and start to disrupt the electric utility market. How do you take market share in a market? You introduce a product that is as good, if not better, and also cheaper than your competition. It's that simple. Well, electrons are all the same. So that cancels out, right? Nobody is going to be like, compare. well, their electrons are better quality. And Tesla is cheaper. I just showed you how we make money from Tesla products. So can you say disruption? But you just said National Grid, a traditional utility. In fact, a UK-based publicly traded utility is doing it right here with a VPP. Yes, but what products are they using to make it happen? Tesla PV solar system on a roof and Tesla Powerwalls. How many big utilities have you heard of who have developed their own AI software to run their batteries, which if they had any, they probably bought from Tesla, and their solar, which if they have any, they probably bought from a third party like Tesla? I thought so. The reason we do this show is to bring you the clues, the information that you aren't gonna find in the mainstream press. They don't get it. And when they do get it, they don't want you to know about it till it suits them. So if you wanna stay informed, find the independent smart outlets like ours on the internet and do your own research. We'll see you next week on Disruptive Investing.